This training video from the Penn State Institute for Cyberscience is designed to help you work with our high-performance computing system, the Advanced Cyber Infrastructure, or ICS-ACI for short. In this video, you'll learn how to copy a file from your local directory to a remote directory, and vice versa from a remote directory to a local directory using the SCP and SFTP commands, along with Penn State's two-factor authentication process. If you're using a Windows PC, start the command prompt. If you're using a Mac, start the terminal. Let's begin with how to use the SCP command. This is a non-interactive SSH command to transfer a file. We're going to move a file from a local directory to a remote directory. Type SCP, a space, the name of the file you want to upload, which is codes, another space, the address of the directory you want to copy the file to, which will be your username at hostname, a colon, followed by the name of the directory you want to copy the file to. Now press Enter. At this point, you'll see four options for the two-factor identification process. Type 1 to choose Duo Push and press Enter. A notification will be sent to the Duo Push app on your smartphone. Approve the request. Now you'll be prompted to enter your account password and press Enter. You'll see the file that's being copied to your remote directory. Notice that the screen displays the percentage complete for the transfer process, the file size, the speed of the transfer, and the time remaining to complete the transfer. The SCP command is used to transfer a single file. If you want to transfer an entire directory instead of a file, use the SCPR command. If the target directory does not exist in the remote directory, it will be created automatically. You can see that here we're using the SCP command to transfer a directory called data into the remote directory called new. Now let's look at how to copy or transfer from the current remote directory to a local directory. First, connect to ACI using the SCP command. Type SCP space, the address of the remote directory you want to copy the file from, then a colon and the name of a file you want to copy, in this case cities, and the name of the local directory you want to copy the file to. Here it's the home directory. Now press Enter. The downloaded file, Cities, is now in your local home directory. Now if you log into the remote machine using the SSH command, you'll see the uploaded file, Codes, in your remote home directory. If you aren't familiar with how to use the SSH command to log in, see our training video on Logging in with SSH. Now that you've learned about the SCP command, let's take a look at how to use the SFTP command. SFTP is an interactive SSH command to transfer files. To open the connection to a remote machine, type SFTP space your username at and the host name of the machine you want to work on. Press Enter. You'll see four options for the two-factor identification process. You can enter your passcode or type 1 to choose Duo Push and press Enter. Here we're using a passcode. Note that for an SFTP connection, you'll see SFTP in the prompt instead of user at hostname. Now, use the PWD command to return to the directory you're currently in on the remote machine. Use the LPWD command to return to the local directory you're currently in. Note that all commands starting with a lowercase l concern your local machine. Use the LS command to list the contents of the current remote directory. 
use the LLS command to list the contents of the current local directory. Use the command get file1 to download file1 from the current remote directory to the current local directory. Use the command lcd to change the current local directory to another directory. Note that the prompt does not show the directory you're currently in. Finally, use the put command with a file name to upload a file from the current local directory to the current remote directory. And that's it. You've completed the file transfer process using both the SCP and the SFTP commands. We've got more training videos on our website, ics.psu.edu.